Hello, this is Dr. Gay, and now we're on to another patient here who has anterior knee pain. So they have no trauma, just the anterior knee pain, irritating for several years. And on the side view here, we can see that the femur is up top, below the knee joint. This is the knee joint. We have the tibia down below. Off to the outer side, lateral side, this is the lateral tibial plateau. And on the medial side is the medial tibial plateau. And here's the round femoral condyle here, and you can see this little wedge is the meniscus, is the medial meniscus, across the midline, lateral meniscus. Now we're really looking in the front, this is where they're having knee pain. Everything in the central knee joint and look good, but here is the kneecap or the patella. Up top is a quadriceps tendon attached to the top, and here's a patellar tendon. So at a quick glance you say, wait, this patella looks awful high. And so this is what they call patella alta, high patella. And typically the patella is high if the patellar tendon is more than one or, I'm sorry, more than one and a half times the height of the patella. So if the patella is three, the patellar tendon should be between three and 4.5 centimeters. So one to one and a half times the patellar height. And in this one, it looks like it's about double the height. So if we measure that, we see that it is more than one and a half times the height, not quite twice the height. But this is abnormal high position of the patella called patella alta. When that happens, there's abnormal mechanics of the stress. The patella can flip around more, and you can get one thing that's called fatty impingement. So if we put up another view, same side view here, we see this gray area is fat and Hoffa's fat pad. If we roll off to the lateral side, on this view, the fat is not really dark. Fat should be really dark in this. It's a fat suppressed sequence. Fat in the marrow is dark, fat in the marrow here is dark, fat in the fat pad is dark. If we go laterally, right there you see this gray brightness. So this is edema within Hoffa's fat pad and it's getting pinched or impinged upon between this patella, I'm sorry, the patellar tendon, the patella, and this lateral part of the femur. We can see this also on this view here. This is a view where the kneecap is up front, the femur is behind, this little trough here is the trochlea. This is relatively shallow trochlear sulcus. Usually there's a deeper groove here for the patella to glide along, but the patella is nice and normal in position. And if we look up to the side here, you can see this bright area. This is that fat, and that's where they have fatty impingement, and that's the source of their anterior knee pain. Most often I see lateral patellar subluxation. The patella sublux laterally too, but in this patient they do not have that. So that is uh, patella alta and associated uh, fatty impingement anteriorly causing the anterior knee pain.